Hey, what's going on guys? G-Rad here. And I wanted to make this video because I thought it would be very informative for those of you who are looking for those 86 RGB LED PAR cans off of eBay. These are like the $20 cans and as you can see they are sound activated right now. And I did this because I wanted to show you that these cans work in the exact same way. They are no different than one another. The LEDs are even in the same places. All the controls and all the connections are all in the same places. The dip switches are in the same places. The connection cable is in the same place. The fuse is in the exact same place. But they're different lights. The difference is in the way they're programmed. It has nothing to do with the way the light is structured physically. It doesn't even have anything to do with the way the light is DMX controlled it's all within the actual dip switch programming and I'm not an expert at lights. I don't know if you can recontrol that or not or reprogram it to make a match or whatever, but really it doesn't matter. What matters is the lights work. And what I'm going to do is I am actually going to show you guys that in this demonstration on the light on your right here, all the dip switches are turned off to activate sound mode. On the light on the left, all of the dip switches but 10 are turned on to activate your sound mode. In the manuals, that is exactly what these lights were supposed to do with those dip switches in that exact same order. Alright, now let's take it a step further and show you that whenever I turn the lights off or all the switches off on the left light, the light cuts out. It's not longer working. It's not on. I'm going to turn on dip switch one of this light and you will see that it emits a red color. Turning on dip switch one of this light will emit a green color. Now in the manuals that is correct. The lights are not broken. I'm making this video in specific because I have seen people talk about these lights being broken because when they turn on the dip switches the lights are turning on in different colors. That is not the case. You need to read the manual of the lights you have because they can be programmed differently. And I will even show you with DMX mode that these lights are working just fine. Now, the light, like I said, all the lights have the same function, so I'm not even going to go over that because you've already seen the review. If you need to know what the functions are, please see my review regarding the actual light itself. So here's what I want to do. I'm going to turn on dip switch 10 dip switch one to put this on DMX channel one. I am going to do the same thing with this light. I'm going to put it on dip switch 10 and then I'm going to put this dip switch one on and that's going to put this light on channel one. And what this is going to allow me to do is it's going to allow me to control this with my Cheveo Bay 40 on the first fixture. Even though on my actual rig the lights are not assigned to that but that's okay. All the lights that I have in the first nine channels use the same functions. As you can see, whenever I change colors, they're changing. They're both the same. You can see the spots on the wall. They're working just fine, which means they are the exact same in the DMX programming. Now, what I want to do is I want to grab control of fixture one, and I'm going to bring down all the faders. Okay. All the faders are off. Everything's good. Now we got control of the light. I'm going to turn up the master fader because that's channel one. Channel 2 is your red. As you can see, it's the exact same. So I'm going to turn off the red. I'm going to turn up fader 3, which is blue, green, excuse me. And you can see that it's the same. It's the exact same brightness, everything. Turn up fader 4, which is your blue, and you will see that it's the exact same brightness. Turn them all up, and there's your white. Now, here's where it gets a little different. I'm going to turn the fader all the way down on the master fader, excuse me. All the three color faders are still up. Now, as I turn the lights on, the brightness is the same as I progress. Here's where it gets different in DMX. Whenever I turn on the strobes, you can see that they're strobing just a slight bit off from one another. That is not a glitch. That is the way these lights are programmed. I am going to turn the strobing all the way up. And this is annoying, I know, I apologize. But you will see that the light on the right is strobing so fast the camera cannot see it, and the light on the left is strobing at its slowest speeds. That is the only difference in DMX, which personally, I think the light strobing at full tilt like that is just annoying, so I don't use that anyways. I usually, whenever I use the strobe, I just turn it on its lowest, or turn it right when it first turns on, 
which, like I said, puts these lights at cl- puts these lights at close to the same strobe speed. So I am not at a loss there. Now, would you be at a loss? Eh, not for twenty bucks, I don't think. I also like the idea of the lights not all strobing at the same time because it kind of creates a nice little array effect. But I wanted to point this out to you because I didn't know how many of you guys out there would really be interested in knowing about this kind of thing. I'm also going to show you a neat little DMX trick while we're at it since I got the camera rolling because I'm OG like that. You know, just I'm gangsta. I'm just kidding. I ain't gangsta at all. I'll get my ass whipped for saying that. Okay. I turned on channel dip switch five and you will see. That now, this light is programmed to channel 5, and this is programmed to channel 1. I'm going to shine this light over here. I'm going to leave it on. I'm going to take this light. I'm going to set it right here so you can see it in the camera while I run the faders. Okay? So, there's my lights. Now, what I want to do... I'm actually going to turn the overhead light on. Let's see if that'll work. Ah, yes, you can still see the lights. Good. And you can see the board. Now... You can see that I turn on the master faders. There's your red, green, and blue. And that's on one channel. And this is the same fixture. I'm even going to turn this off, and you'll see that the light... Second light's not working, though. That's fine. I'm going to turn this off all together. I'm going to grab control of this. And I'm going to turn up the faders. Here's a little DMX hack. I'm going to turn up fader 5. Here's your other light, all on the same board. How did I do that? I assigned this to channel 5, and this is on channel 1. So they literally allow me to control two separate lights. How nice is that? That's just a little something you can do if you need to, because these are both four channel lights. So it works. But yeah, I just thought I would show you that while I could. And... You can control them, make them give them two different colors. You can make that one red, and you can make that one blue, and see it works. But yeah, I wanted to show y'all that and show y'all about these cans because I thought that would be a neat little review and video to show you guys that these cans are not broken. They work together just fine. Like I said, I will turn the channel four switch off here so you can see it. Now it's blue. Now I have control of these lights just from the first fader set. Faders one through four. So you can master red, green, blue. So yeah, the lights are not broken. When you see them and you turn the switches on thinking that the switches will be the same, that's not always going to be the case. So you need to read your manual. And if you have any further questions regarding that, please feel free to leave me a message. Thank you guys. This is G signing out. Peace.